released from the Russian prison. Yeah, I saw that. In exchange for the worst devil of them all, but she's been treated so badly. I'm like, yeah, you know, her life is totally ruined. Oh, absolutely. It's a crazy world we live in. You know, it's a totally. Yeah. Yeah, did you see North Carolina on the news with the shooting up of the, uh, the electric, electric that, Oh, the electric that, thing. Yeah, they just got their um, electricity on this morning. But they're now saying that other reactors around the nation have been hit. Oh, my God. Did they say where? I didn't see that. Um, in isolated areas. But this is like in its town two hours away from Charlotte. If they wanted to make a statement, they would hit Charlotte, not this backwards, backwater town. What makes people do these crazy things? That's what I don't understand. Because they have guns and they can use them. And they can do it because it's a thrill of, I can do it, see? Look at me, look, I can kill people. I can run them over. But all, the, all gun owners are crazy. No, I mean, listen, when I moved here, I changed my mind about the Second Amendment because there's hunting here. So my view was that, and then responsible gun owners, but the people that you buy them off the streets, and, um, with Florida incident where, you know, he was marked and, you know, not healthy enough to buy them, and then he shot up parkland there's oh, just yeah, park, listen i i will for the rest of my life i will remember the day i was turning into our community yeah sirens were racing up the street 90 miles an hour yeah that was that day they were how racing. How, how far was that from you joan oh, oh it was a good 10 miles i would guess it, it we weren't in any danger but the, but the police cars there racing up the street at 90 miles an hour. I will never forget it as long as I live. No, well, it was like 9-11, but I'm not saying all guns that owners are, shouldn't have guns. I'm saying there has got to be stricter laws than what we have on the book. Absolutely, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, but, uh, people who, who have been shown to be mentally deficient and then they go buy guns. There right. Have, there have to be much stricter laws. How are you, Bonnie? I'm good. I'm obviously getting into a, a good conversation here. This is well, we were starting about the, the power plant that was knocked out in North Carolina in this backwaters town that was shot up and people were out just got their electricity back since Saturday. Oh wow. Do you, do do they know who did it? No, but then they brought in another angle that there's been other power plants being shot up around the yeah, nation. My, my my brother used to be um, communications director for a, a really big power company and, and they're international, but he was like for the Northeast mm -hmm. and particularly there's a big power plant. Um, I think it's called Indian, I don't know if it's called Indian Point, I forget, but up in, in it's up in Westchester and it's always been a big political football about it. But anyway, he used to have, you know, um, very serious security drills um multiple times a year you know to simulate an attack on the power plant and how they would react and you know how quickly you know police would come and and so on yeah he even worked with i hate to say this this person's name but back in the day he was a, a good guy rudy giuliani back in the day after 9 11 and my brother worked guy. with him a bit way back when he was yeah. right now he's a, a psychopath but he would he had a security firm and my brother w worked with him in the security firm to do tests on attacks on this plant and this nuclear power plant in westchester yeah there's oh energy was, that's the name of the company yeah. the company oh synergy is, yeah i remember that but there was yeah. little there was little to no security and this is duke energy and um Wow, that's terrible. Yeah, so just terrible. Yeah, so we don't know what's good, but FBI has been there for a while. And I hope it's just an isolated incident, like crazy, you know, just, you know, not an international. They, I hope they don't tie it in. 
but it just shows you the vulnerabilities. I mean, there's also like our water systems everywhere in the country are just free yeah. and Absolutely. you know not very well protected. I mean, somebody, some crazy group could poison the water supply. There's just we're a free society. We don't think about these things. I mean, well, now we do. But they now we, we do, but probably not. The securities aren't in place still. But they got Brittany Greer out of jail for a mental health. I mean, you think about it. Think how much there is already. I mean, it, it, it's endless. The, the potential problems are endless. They're absolutely endless. They are endless. The because scenarios, it's, yeah. It's a crazy, crazy world we live in in more ways than one. Yeah. And you I know, know people that, like my daughter, who ever gets married, so she's not bringing a child in the world. I think it's a little selfish, but I can understand what she's saying. How well, old is she? She'll be 30 in May. Yes. Age, yeah. All right. Hopefully she'll change. <laughs> hopefully that will change. And they have their, they have their children later than we did. It's all done at 30. And these kids are not even willing to think about it until they're 30. They don't want, yeah, well, she he's 31, almost 32, so. Um, we shall see. We shall see. Plenty of time. Yeah. <laughs> How was your reading, Joan? How's what? How was your reading at Temple? Oh, God. There were two Gabayim and a rabbi up there. And when I didn't finish what I was supposed to read, nobody caught it. So when it came time for the mouth chair, he says, uh, the rabbi says, it's up here. I said, no, that's where I finished because I was wrong. But as somebody pointed out who had watched it on Zoom, she said they should have caught that immediately. I mean, my reading was okay. It wasn't great. I was much relieved to get to the half Torah, which was nothing. You know, that to me is nothing. But I'm not reading Torah for a few weeks. <laughs> I'm not going to jump in. Hey, you know what? Good, good kudos to you for yeah. getting up there and doing it. And that's the way to get better. Much. I took on too much, though. I, you know... I thought I should have taken the shorter reading, which is like five verses. But I said, oh, I understand this Hebrew. And I did for the most part. You know, uh, the Hebrew wasn't the problem. I could not, for the life of me, remember the trope for that much. So yeah, I not that not that women in our synagogue, not that many women can read Torah. So I well, think it's several, tremendous to get there, up there, there and do it. There are several in our two too. Some of them sort of marginally. But um, I don't know. I, I My friend called me. I had originally had the half Torah for not this week, but next week. And I asked to switch from last week. And then she called me, well, I do this next week too. She's going out of town. So, But that's a piece of cake to me. That's nothing because the Hebrew is easy and I know the truth. I know that it's there in front of you for half Torah. So there was a lot. I mean, it was a great partial though with the Yehuda. And the Jacob story. Uh, oh, yeah, it was a great part. And the part I was reading was all about it. And they named their, this one had a son, and they named their son this, and they named their son that. I mean, it, it was easy Hebrew for me to read because I right. basically understood it. But um, no, I'm not doing that much again, not for a long time. I'll <laughs> take it. Maybe next month when I'm supposed to go half her, I'll see if, how long the mock chair is. If it's five verses on myself, think about it. <laughs> Young boy um, who's bar mitzvah was Saturday. So he did his all uh, like he did. And his father read Torah. And um, boy, I can I can sympathize with you. That was a long part. What part did he read? Yehuda. Uh, um, yeah, that's when Jacob went to work for his father in law. No, I didn't, we didn't read that part. We weren't um, reading we read the triennial cycle, so I, I don't know. Yeah, see, we have this, so this is where we read from. Um, yeah, we got that. But, and then, okay. you know, it was, we got done by 12 o'clock. Well, we used to get done by 11.30, but we've got these wonderful new rabbis, and for every occasion, it has to be a Mishabera. So there was my birthday and something else, so they had to be uh -huh. a Mishabera. And... They, they're really just trying to be nice and reach out to people, but the service is getting longer and longer and longer. <laughs> the oh, my diet, she whips through it at the end. She doesn't miss any time. She just whips through the last of it, but it's like... Our, anyway. rabbi, 
It is after 10. Does everybody here who's got money? money? Now, I know that Jane is not coming. Because I'll have to help her. And I haven't heard from Carol or Fran or Rochelle. Rochelle come in. comes in, comes in a little late. Hmm. I think people are getting busy and not doing yeah, it's it. A, it's a busy time of year. Yeah. I, I think we're going to have like one or two more sessions and call it a day. I don't know what they're saying, but I'm looking at what we haven't done. And basically, after today, it's the end of the service. I don't know long in Kelohenu or Lenu. And I think you're all pretty much familiar with those prayers anyway. So I don't think it's going to be a lot. I'm not going to take a whole session for each one, that's for sure. But we'll see. We've done the Torah blessings this week at the end. So that was important. I think we've done most of the things that might have been new. But anyway, today I want to look at three of the Psalms or parts of Psalms that are part of the Friday night service. And this is what I was asked to do. So that's why we're doing it. I didn't make it up all by myself. Um, so if you can get into your, wherever Sidor you have, into your Kabbalah Shabbat, in my big one, this one, it's page 254. But it's Kabbalah Shabbat. Beginning. The very beginning of Kabbalah Shabbat. Fifty-four? No. Two fifty-four. In the big book. So it's not I sing of your creations, the page after. This one? Um, yes. Oh, in that one, I'm thinking it's page 15, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. I mean, it says the Kabbalat Shabbat passages are page 15 to 24. That's probably a good place to look. Um the top, of, the top of this page is Bukhun Ranana. What I want to look at is Shiru Ladonai, which is at the middle of the page. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Can you say again what you're what we're looking Shiru, for? Shiru Ladonai. Okay. I'm going to sing a song to God. Shiru Ladonai, Shir Hadash, sing unto God a new song. You have it, Hillary? Yeah. Mary, got it? Yes. Yes, I have it. Everybody has it. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, 254. <laughs> this is where you should find no, it. No, no, I have the little, I have the small blue book. I, I mean, I don't know if I'm in the right place, but. What do you have on the page? It says, let us, let us sing to Adonai. Let us rejoice in our creator. Let us greet God with thanksgiving, singing psalms of praise. Lakuna Rana knows what you're looking at, right? No, it just says Kabbalat Shabbat. Yeah, but what's the Hebrew? Oh, um, Lehu Nuranana. Yeah. Okay, right. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I thought it, I was looking for a title like that. Not no, the Hebrew. No, no, no. Oh, got that, it. Okay. Get down to the middle of the page where it says Shiru Ladonai. These are all things we can do. These are all psalms of parts of psalms that we sing on Friday night to welcome Shabbat. But I was specifically asked to deal with three that we're going to do today, so I'm going to follow the or follow my orders. I don't always. And if Jane asks if she calls you, it's on page 17 on the red book. What's that? If Jane emails you, it's page 17 in the red book. Page 17 in the red book. Yeah. You all thank Hadash. The English is sing a new song to the Lord. Renew yourself, all people on earth. Yeah, I can't. I yeah, I can't find it. Yes, you can. You found the Chunaran in there, right? Yes. All right, go down the page. Is there a break in the page? Um, not really. <laughs> okay, what, what come back? maybe on the next page. Try the next page. <laughs> yeah. Shiru Ladonai Shir Hadash. What we're looking for. Yeah, I got it. Good. Okay, it's page, okay. It, I'm sorry, it's page 16. Okay, in the blue book. Yeah, I got okay. it. Okay, and this is a psalm, it's Psalm 95. And I want let's look at the English first because I think when we're reciting these, sometimes it's it, it's good to understand basically what we're reciting. When I said I understood the Torah, I didn't understand every word, but I understood what the story was. And I think when we say these 
we sing these psalms because they're all sung, or almost all of them are, it's, it's good to know what the feeling is. And here we are, we're, we're singing to God, sing a new song to the Lord, Shir Ladenai Shir Hadash, sing to God, Shir Hadash, a new song, Shir Ladenai, sing to God, and that's the command form, Shir, Kol Haaretz, the whole earth, and then Shir Ladenai Brachush, a blessed name, and then we say that we're going to proclaim his glory and wonders to the world. And that's what this is all about. So this is what we're going to start reading first. And we've only got four of you. So boy, I can make all of you work today. I miss the others, but I, I love them. They make some of you work hard. Who's, who's game to go at first? I can start. Good. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> Shiru le Adonai, when you won't hear me. Shiru le Adonai. No, wait a minute. Let me show. You, let me show you something. Look at the first word, Shiru. Do you know? Oh, where's the, the line? <laughs> What's the line? It's the accent. Exactly. Okay. I'm not <laughs> going to hold you up on every one of those, but try to get you to have them looking at it. Okay, go. Shiru le Adonai. La donai. La donai. La adonai. No, Shiru. la donai. No, we don't say la adonai. We say la donai. Oh. oh. La donai. Shiru. No. She. 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 Hadash. She she rule the la la Adonai. No, nope, same thing as before. La donai. La donai. Ko ha eretz. Ha ha eretz. Good. One more line. She no she La donai. Good. Ba, no. Bar who? Shir, shirimo. Ba, ba shiru. Wait a minute. What's the second letter? Where's the dot? <clears throat> oh, yes. Basaru. No. Lend it to the dot. Basru. Oh, Basru. Not a shin, it's a sin. You see that? The dot is on the left hand side of the letter. So it's a sin, not a shin. So it's Basru. Ba basru. No. Basru. Look, do you understand why I said that? Yes, because of the uh, dot. Right, okay. The location of the dot. Basru, me. Uh, me own, me yom, me own, le yom, yash, yash, u, yashu, ah, chow, chow. Good. Good. Yes. Yeshu. 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 Oto. That's a strange. Yeshu. Uh, this is biblical Hebrew, and biblical Hebrew often gets uh, comment. In the Red Book, why and I was having problems with the D. The D is more pronounced in the Red Book than it is in the Blue Book. The Dalit? The Dalit, yeah. What do, you Dalit mean is more, what do you mean it's more pronounced? It, I, the D it um Dalit. The Dalit is um, more clearly read in La Hado than it is in La Har. I mean, I can see the confusion when, when Mary, Mary was reading too, because I looked dead and it looked like an R to me. Then I looked in the red book and it, it looked more like a D, a Dalit. Okay. So the confusion, okay. I, I see the confusion. Yes. And this is not, again, this is not easy Hebrew. What I want to do is just go through these prayers and what they're about and let you practice reading your Hebrew. 
And mm -hmm. in all honesty, we could have classes now till forever. If you don't practice, you're not going to be able to do it. When you go to the synagogue, try to follow along. It's not going to be easy in the beginning because some of this Hebrew is really not easy Hebrew. It's biblical Hebrew, which is often more difficult. And but it's um, but you should be familiar with these prayers and realize that we say all these sounds every Friday night. Do do you go regularly on Friday night? Any of you? All of you? No, not that much. Only when the kids were young. <laughs> do you go Shabbat morning? Yes. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to skip all this. No, don't. No, no, no. I'm going to go to the things that are in the Shabbat morning service instead. You want to do this? We can do it. But um, yeah, let's do it. We'll do it. But just so you know that these are there. In the Friday night service, there are all these songs that we read. And I, I rarely go on Friday night. I went last week, but we, we usually go Shabbat morning. Okay? I much prefer Joan, that. I, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to step away for a second. There's someone at my door. Okay. No right. problem. Look at her face there. Put up. <laughs> okay, that's beautiful. Okay. All right. I want somebody else to read those same lines because they are tricky. Who's going to do it? Hillary. Thanks for inviting me for that. <laughs> <laughs> Sharu, Rega, Rega, Shiru, Shiru, Shiru. Yeah, try to look, let's. As long as we're reading this, let's try to practice the accent. Shiru, La, Lado, Lada, Lada, La, 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 that's so that is weird word. Yeah, no, that this is this should be a sight word. So that's a good one for us to concentrate on. La donai to God. Sheer. is Adonai. When you put the la in front of it, you don't go la a, you go la donai. Oh, la donai. Oh, okay. That makes more okay. sense. Yeah. Yeah. Um, sheer. Hadash. Ki. Nef. Nafala. Second line. Let's see. I'll go back to the book. You read the first four words. What comes next? We repeated. Bow. Ha aretz. Yep. Read the read the whole first line again. Shiru la Adonai. Shir ha dash. Shir shiru la Adonai. Koha Aret. Good, but I want you to try to say La Donai. La Donai. It's just customary to say La Donai, not La Adonai. Don't like right. that. Okay, okay, keep going. Next one. Chiru La Donai. Barho. Barhu. Barhu. Shemo. Bas Basru Miyom La Om La La Om La La Um No, I'm missing a letter. La La Yom Good Ish Ru A Ato Yet Shu Ato Okay That Shu Rat Ato See, okay. in the book, it doesn't even now, that. all of these, these, all of these sounds, we're going to find the word sheer, sheer. sheer. What does that mean? Sing. Sing. Because we sing these songs. Ladonai means? God. No, I don't know means God. Ladonai means? Hmm. Two? Is it two? Yes. To the Lord? To God or to the Lord. Yes, two. La, 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 la is always two. Okay. Um, let's try the next line. I haven't heard from Teresa. Okay. Um. go yom. I go. Safru 
Vakovim. Good. <laughs> Kavoto. What is that noise, Teresa? That is my computer, and I'm sorry. I know. Okay, I thought it was. Okay, keep going. We dress the room. Kavoto. But the co ha a mean me me la lo tav. Good. I'm not gonna. All right. Um, I'm not gonna belabor this one. I don't think it. It was on my list, but I don't think it's one that's sung everywhere. Let's turn the page. Um, you should be able to find the prayer Yismachu Hashamayim. Mm -hmm. Should be on the next page. Yismachu Hashamayim. Yismachu. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. It's the end of the same song. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this is the part that is most often sung. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Recognize it, right? Yes. And this yes. is the end of that song. And if you notice, it has that little square. That means this is where the cantor comes in and you know you don't read the whole thing, you just this is where you come in to finish it. Um Sameach is happiness. So we're gonna say I can't find it. I'm having it's, trouble finding it. Well, what do you have? Follow the page down from where we were. Okay. Now keep I going. To the okay. End. I mean the next box, it's Leafne, I don't know. He. No, no, no. The next box. No. no the next box. Two lines is... above that. It's two lines above Leafne, I don't know. Two lines before that? Yes, above it. Oh. Yishmahu. Mi Yishmahu, I see it. Yishmahu, okay. Y Yishmahu, yeah. Okay. Again, Sameach means happy. So we rejoice. The heavens are going to rejoice and the earth is going to rejoice. The whole earth is going to be filled full. And this is one that, that is often sung. I don't know. Are you familiar with this one at all? Yes, no, who has shamayin. Yes, no, who has shamayin. Good. I'm not going um, for Jane. It will be on page fourteen. If she calls you, she's not here. She's a, she's not. I know, here. but if she calls you in, she's not going to call him. She may. She may. She may do the listen to the recording. No, okay. she's Jane, me. page fourteen. Jane, it's on page. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Again. Talk, go down again. I'm not going to belabor these. I don't think if you're not regular Friday night goers, you're not going to practice these. It's, it's silly. But well, you, should know, you, should know what, you should know what these prayers are. So now go down a little further. What's the next box? Leaf, leaf name? Uh, I know. Four. 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 Okay, got it. Four. Right. Or Zarua La Tzadik. The light is there for the Tzadik, for the righteous, and mm -hmm. joy for the honorable. And this is also sung kanta. Or Zarua La Tzadik, Yitreleb Simcha. Does that ring bells? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not going to go through these too much. I want to get on to other things. Okay. Now, I want you to go to several praises later. I want you to find Ms. Moore Ladavi. Hapo Ladonai B'nai Elin. Hapo Ladonai. Psalm of David. It's Psalm 29. Psalm 29. Psalm 29. Psalm 98. Psalm 91. Excuse me. Psalm 99. 98. Okay. Yeah. 
Oh, so Psalm of David. Yeah. Page 260 in the blue book. And then 17 on the red book. 17 in the red book. Okay. Now, what are all these prayers about? I don't want to belabor them. I know if you're going to pray, unless you're going to services and practicing them, you're not going to be able to read them fluently. If you want to do it on your own, that's fabulous. But what are these prayers basically all about? Praising God. Praising God. Singing to God. Rejoicing in God. That's the big, that's the theme. And all of these psalms, all right, now I've got the hard question. It's here. What, where do we find psalms? Where do these come from? We talked about it last week. They're in the writings. They're in the writings, correct? And, and it's, writing. what is it? Ketuvim? Ketuvim. Very good, Mary. Ketuvim. Well, I read it. <laughs> yeah, you read it right. Ketuvim. Remember we talked about the Tanakh? Yeah. The Torah. Nevi'im Ketuvim. Torah, we all know what Torah is. The five books of Moses. Nevi'im of the prophets. And that's where most of the Haftarot comes from. Right. And Ketuvim of the writings. And all of these songs come from the writings. Ketuvim. Ketuvim's to write. Okay. I want to go on. We did Lachadoji. I want to go on to, I, I, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't think it's helpful to all of you necessarily. No, I have, well, I have Shabbat, uh, Sisterhood Shabbat coming up in the spring. And? I'm going to read one of these prayers. You're going to do one of these uh, prayers? Oh, yeah. Good. Which one? I don't know. Whichever you tutor me in. Want me to tutor you in. We'll have to have a <laughs> private session. <laughs> yeah. You choose one. I'll help you with one if you need it. Yeah, I really want to do this. Okay, then do one of them. By all means, do one of them. I will. I, I, when I was asked what I wanted to do, I popped out and said the house for it's easy. But well, um, yeah, our sisterhood Shabbat is coming up too. But if you want to do one of those, that's great. But I don't yep. think I don't think we all have to spend time really digging into them now. You've got to practice that people on your own. You need help, we can have a separate tune in. Yeah, it won't be until the spring. Okay. We do ours weird. And if you, it's not weird, if you um, choose one and work on it and then you want to read it, that's fine. I'll, I'll listen to you. Thank you. Because okay. I've always been English. Oh, no, you're going to read English mm -hmm. here. No mm -hmm. more English. Okay, we've done the Kriyat Shema. I would like to go to, I am. Um, this isn't what I prepared, but I'll find it in a second, which it is. This is what I want. Hold on one second, because this isn't what I planned. Again, I wrote the you to do. I'm going to do it again. Um, let's go to the end of the, the Saturday morning service. Shabbat and festival services. Find the end of the Shabbat morning service. And I will look in my book and you can look in yours. And what I want to find is, is Ein Kelohim. It will be at the end of Shabbat Musa. Alternative Shabbat Musa, if you call that. I think it's page 508. I sort of, I remember that number. Yeah. 508. <laughs> it's not. Does anyone know in the blue book what it is? If I'm, I'm having I'm trouble looking. finding it. I'm looking, I'm looking, hold on. Okay. We don't, we don't use this book in the synagogue, so that's why I am not familiar with all the pages, with all the pages. I'm on page 508, in Kelohan, in this book, <clears throat> this book. Yeah, I don't I don't have that book, but <laughs> I have this small it's, blue book. It's the end of the morning service. Is that so? Is that called Minka for Shabbat? No, Minka is the afternoon. Okay, so I'm, I'm too, too far, far then. Yeah, okay, so it's Marie. Okay, I found a Don Alum. Let's see. I'll go back. Should be right before We're that. Right should be soon. We're going to take them in order. We're going to do En Kelohenu. Oh, um, I got it. Alenu I got it. And I got it. Those are the ones. All right. In Kelohenu, that's what we're looking for. That's what yeah. we're looking for. Okay. Page 204 in the Red Book. 
All right, so it's, it's 182 okay. in my book. <laughs> what? Speak the English and tell me what this prayer is all about. Well, it sounds like the um, attributes, attributes of God. Absolutely. It is the attributes of God. We have sung to God. We have praised God. We've read Torah. And now we're, as we come to the end of the service, we are getting, we are coming to the attributes of God. Nobody can compare to God. We thank God. We praise God. We say, you are our God. And it's very easy Hebrew because each line is almost a repetition of the one before. And um, it's something you should be, that I hope you can all enjoy singing and partaking in when, when you come to the end of your service. I'm getting a nod, good. Do you want to try to sing it? But, but but reading the Hebrew though, because I sing oh, it with the transliteration. I don't oh, know. No, I no I've never done the Hebrew. No transliteration allowed. Bonnie, why don't you try to read the Hebrew? All right. Um Ain Kelohenu, Ain Kadonenu, Ain Kama Le. Wait. Ain. <laughs> Kamal Kenu. Kif Malkenu. Kif Malkenu. Ain Kimal Shienu. Ain Kamo Shienu. Okay. Me. Me. Holo. I'm sorry, what? Kalo. Kalo Hainu. Yeah. Me Kado Nenu. Me Kamo Kamo Hainu. Me Kamo Shienu. Okay, good. You can see this is less challenging than others, which is nice because you really can participate and enjoy it. Okay, I'm going to ask Teresa to read the next two lines. No death. Okay, no death. Are you pardoned? No, I, I couldn't hear you for a moment. Okay. <laughs> it's just that I have to get really close to the book. I don't have my magnifying glass. Yet. Oh. No <laughs> Lay Lohenu, no death, no death, no death. Lay Lohenu, no death. Look at your glass, honey. La Donenu, La Donenu, no death. La Mo Kenu, no death. La Mo Sienu. Keep going. Okay. Um. Baruch Eloheinu Baruch Adoninu Baruch Malkinu Baruch Moshiinu. Okay, thank you, and I think Hillary is going to finish it up. Ata hu et lo heinu. Ata hu adoninu. Ata hu Malhenu Atahu Moshienu Atahu Shah Shah he he so he so eek so no that matter. It's not a sound. Um, so. What's the word? Shaik. 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 I want to hear that again. Shaik. Tiru. Tiru. Shaik Tiru. Okay. Shaik Tiru. Tiru. Avu. Av. 
Avo Tene Teno Tenu Lafa Neha Et Cut Coat Ret Hasa Ma Mim. Good. Okay. So other than the last line, which has a little bit of tongue twisting. Yeah. Challenge in it. The rest Thank you. Of it is real basic. We're saying there is none like our God. There is none like our Lord. Adon is the Lord. There is none like our King. There is none like our Savior or Deliverer. And then who is like, who compares? Who is like our God? Who is like our King? And so on. And then we give thanks to him. Then we bless him. And then say, you are. So this is just a very, very simple prayer. I know you all know how to sing it. It's, it's like, here we are. Thank God we reached the end of the service. We all can sing this. It's easy. <laughs> um, I'm going to challenge you to practice reading that last line at home. Because it's the only one that's the least bit difficult. Notice in the first two lines, it's hello, Hainu. In hello, Hainu. Mm -hmm. In the second two lines, it's in the third two lines, it's Ladonenu. And then in the fourth two, it's Adonenu, the fourth and the fifth sets. It's Adonenu. And that's just the Hebrew grammar. I'm not worth getting hung up about. So you can read. I know you can. Um, what you've done up till now tells me that this should be absolutely no challenge for you. Okay? All right, turn the page. What's next? Alainu. Um, and what's Alainu all about? I'm that page here. What's Alainu all about? We're bowing to the sovereign rule, God. He's our sovereign. I mean, we. We bow to him um, in sovereignty. We take the first line in English. Again. We rise to our duty to praise the Lord of all, to acclaim the creator. He made our lot unlike that of other people, assigning to us a unique destiny. Keep going. When praise be he who spread out the heavens and laid the foundation. Wait a minute. You have nothing else after that? Not in the blue book. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you have the big book there, too? Um, and then it goes to, and so we bow, acknowledging the Supreme Sovereign, the Holy One who is praised. Okay. Okay. So this is becoming a much more serious, much more complex prayer than the Aiden Kello Hanging. <laughs> what do we do for this prayer? We bow. Before we bow. Oh, we do the yes, the uh, mourner's yes. cottage. No, yes, yes, but that's that's not what I had in mind. When do we? When no, do you bow? Do we? We do the mourner's cottage after this prayer. What do we right. do for this prayer? You have to stand. Thank you. Yeah, you're standing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, Elena. Elena. Yes. Well, it, it's a very serious. Ain't a little bit fluffy. This one's very serious. What does Elenu mean, literally? Do we know? Elenu. Uh, it says we rise up our duty to praise. The could be to praise. Okay. The Lord. Uh, uh, on us. It's ours. Uh, uh, it is our duty. Elenu is on us. Okay. The new ending is always we or us. Third person. Um, plural. First person plural. New is always first person plural. Uh, um, and it, it's a very serious prayer. We sing it care. It, do, um, do they open the ark in any of your congregations? Yes. I don't remember. <laughs> no. Yes, it's open. They are Sometimes. <laughs> well, they never used to in our congregation, but then they needed more ways to give people honors. So they decided to have people go up and open the ark. Right. I don't think, I, I'm not sure it's really necessarily prescribed 
in, in all seriousness, but many congregations use it because they like to give more people honors. <clears throat> it just gives them a chance to do that. John, um, is, there's one thing about this that I never understood, which is there's a part in the second paragraph that is not said out loud in our synagogue. Or in ours. But I don't didn't know why that was the case. Hmm, Tradition? I think, it's, I think it's just a custom. You know what? If every single prayer was said out loud in its entirety, you would spend the whole week in the, in the school and never get, get out. <laughs> oh, um, that's a good reason. Our, our cantor always goes, oh, can you know, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, theoretically, the cantors and the rabbis are reading it. I, I doubt they all do. In, in all seriousness, I doubt they all do. Because they try to get down to the end, the net and ma which is the part where you all sing together. Right. Yeah, cool. yeah. and I'm right with uh, Mary on that part. We do skip because in the blue book, it's so much longer in the first paragraph. In the red book, it's only six lines, seven lines before we um, bow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah. Um, which book do you use in your congregation, Hillary? Um, this is our law of shalom. The bigger one. Yeah. The, the red one. Yeah. Oh, so you, you have a more abbreviated prayer for this one. Yeah. Okay. Um, I've, I've never been anywhere where we didn't do the full prayer, but that doesn't mean anything except that's where I happen to land in my travels. Um, let's try to read this. This is one you should be able to read and chant. This is, this is one I'd like to spend a little bit of time on. So who's brave? Go ahead, Barney. Okay, starting with the Elenu. Absolutely. Okay. Elenu Lishabea La Adon Hakol La Tate Gadula La Yotzer Bereshit Shelo Asanu Kago Um. Kagoye Ha'arathot below Samanu Kamish Bach, wait, Kamish Pachot Ha'adama. Wow, was that part from memory and part reading? No, I've been practicing this one. Yeah, good for you. That because it's cool. always because it's always you know it's always done and it's always frustrating to me that I don't didn't know all the words by memory. So I've been practicing it. Well, I'm proud of you. That was excellent. You want to keep going? Yeah. <laughs> um, Hillary was is relieved because I'm not calling on her right away. <laughs> no, I don't want to be called. All right. I know. <laughs> All right. Shalom, Sam, Halkenu, Kahem, Bigo, Ralenu, Keho, Hamo, Nam, Be Ah, Nahnu, Horim, Bemish, Tahavim, Bumodim. What do we do there? And after you bow, then you bow. You bend the knee and bow. Bend the, yeah, bend the knee and bow. Leaf name Mala. Okay. Hey, what do we do with Leaf name Mala? We rise up. 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 Okay. So Leaf name Mala. Malhe. Hamlahim. Makadosh. Baruchu. Shauna Tushamayim. Now that's the part I don't know, and it's frustrating. I I don't know that one well. I mean. Look at what, what you just did. Yeah, that was great. That's yeah. the, I'm a one trick pony. That's the part I, I okay, worked on. <laughs> it's now on your agenda. This yeah. You need to work on Shahuna Teshamaya, which is often sung. Who wants to try it? Mary will. <laughs> but I'm lost already. I, I don't exactly know where you I, I are. Know. No, Mary, she's not going to get away with that. Hillary tried to throw it off on you. She's going to. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who knows? Who? That's where we are. She who? She who knows has shamai. Oh, you don't have that. I do. Hillary, you don't have that? 
Hello, Hillary. I have it. Okay, go. Shahu. Shahu. I'm not going to sing. Yakaru. Yakaru. Be careful. Ma yo ah wait me ma ow us us kion wait us wait you us kinat u so baga bagavte marum meme. Mom, wait, 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 Ain old uh, uh, met mal mahal mal mahal mahal mal heinu at at tom yeah at tom mm. Ask him all kind of what's the next word? At at Bob. Yes. At Bob. Yeah. Yes. That's a Yeah. Sonic. Yeah, I, yeah, I, be careful of your vowels. Yeah. It, it doesn't make sense when she throws the wrong vowels. At yes. that, so la toe. Ka ka. Tov, but but to rato the ya rat the ya the ya rat stop 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 what's yeah. the third letter the ya it's not a it's not a race it's a dollar but uh d Da 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 die. Via da ta. Via da ta. Hu yom. Hi. Hi yom because of the you're big having the uh the uh, um vowel on it. Hi yom. Vahash vaha. Shit. Wait. Uha sha. No 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 no. Vaha she vata vota vota el lava vata. Good, stop. Thank you. Guess what your assignment to this week is, ladies, and everybody who's listening to the recording too, I hope. What is your assignment for this week? Reading the Elenu. Reading the Elenu. You know the first part. You've sung it. Some of you are doing a little bit by memories. Maybe you may have looked at transliteration. You may not. Um, I was really thrilled with the way Bonnie did the Hebrew. She read it beautifully. But then when we come back to it, to the end, to Shehuno Teshemayim, which is really the second paragraph in many Sidurim, but here it's a continuation of the first, um, it gets a little trickier. And I really would like you to practice reading this whole paragraph. And then you do not have to read the next paragraph, but skip to the end where it says Vinet Mr. Do you all see that? Yep. Vinet Mr. Vahaya Adonai Lamelech Al Kohar. That's which, if you can read this and feel comfortable doing this, that would be amazing because every service is going to conclude this way. And 
it's just a good feeling. I mean, but I could tell when Bonnie was reading how good she felt about doing it this way. And I was waiting for you to do that one. That was one I kept trying to learn. Yeah. Well, and it's not like this. I mean, I, I got a list from the boss and I've done almost everything on it. Yeah, virtually everything. We, we, we'll do a don't know um, and we'll do um, maybe Mato, who we're, we're just about there. I would say another one or two classes at the most. I don't know how long I'm so, we're supposed to go. <laughs> but as we get to Peconic in the new year, I don't think we want to do this every week. So let's say um, well, two more classes at the most. OK, and then I'm sure we'll be in a, in a new. I'm sure I'll get more prayers for the intermediate class, which you're all probably halfway into anyway, the way you're reading. So I'm not okay. worried. Yeah, I mean, no, you're reading really well. You were, those of you who were with me the first time were ahead of the were ahead of the game before we even got into this one. So we've been able to we've been able to make really good progress. And those of you who joined me later, Mary, have um, you've been great. You've just really picked it up and come along, and you're doing amazingly well. I'm going to cut out a little bit early today because I've got a lot going on here, and we really covered what we need to. And what you need to do now is practice on your own. So I thank you. Thank you. And I will see you all again next Thursday. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.